Various assets may become contaminated during an enemy attack. Assets with metal surfaces and non-porous surfaces such as glass or hard plastic may retain a residual chemical hazard post-attack. The chemically contaminated object rule is used to keep personnel safe while using the contaminated asset. How personnel cordon off the contaminated vehicle or object will depend on its size and the duration in which the object has been contaminated. Report all contaminated vehicles to your UCC with vehicle-specific information and type of contamination. This should be documented on Air Force Form 1800. The level of protection required when using a contaminated asset within 24 hours after an attack is based on the size of the contaminated object. Small objects are considered to be any object that is smaller than a bus or resources that have 10 square meters or less of metal and or glass surfaces. Some examples of small objects include aircraft ground equipment, munitions and their trailers, and vehicles such as pickup trucks, Humvees, and one and a half ton steak bed trucks. Large objects are considered to be any object that is larger than a bus, or that has more than 10 square meters or more of metal and or glass surfaces. Some examples include 44 passenger buses, fuel trucks, P-19 fire trucks, and all aircraft. Immediately following an attack within one hour of contamination, MOP-4 should be worn in all zones, whether dealing with a small or large contaminated asset. After the initial hour and up to 24 hours from the most recent attack, MOP-4 must be worn within 10 feet of small contaminated assets. For large objects, MOP-4 must be worn up to 3 hours after an attack and within 50 feet until 24 hours after an attack. Items should be marked and visible from all sides of the contaminated asset. The easiest way to understand and apply CCOR is to remember that within 24 hours after an attack, if the object is smaller than a bus, then MOP-4 must be worn within 10 feet. If the object is larger than a bus, then MOP-4 must be worn within 50 feet. Once the 24 hours after an attack have passed, individuals must wear gloves at all times when dealing with the objects or vehicles that were once contaminated.